Hey people, it's Teal Gamer with a quick how to fix it video featuring Watch Dogs 2. No doubt if you've seen Watch Dogs 2 or own it, people are complaining that there's massive slowdowns, massive amounts of lag, huge frame rate drops, stuttering, and the list just goes on and on. Now there's a lot of videos out there that are going to tell you how to fix the problem and never do, and instead only repeat what somebody else posted that either doesn't work or only works temporarily. I'm actually going to show you how to fix the problem by going over a few things. So first I'm going to give you my computer specs, then I'm going to show you the settings I use, then I'm going to go into the game and actually play it so you can see the effect of it, and as I'm doing this I'll explain exactly how I fixed the game and what caused the game to break in the first place. Alright, so I have an ASUS motherboard, model Z170M+, Plus, I'm using Windows 7 64 Ultimate, I have an Intel Core i7-6700 at 3.4 GHz, that's a 6700, not a 6700K. I'm using an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 Founders Edition. I have a Samsung 1TB EVO850 SSD, and the NVIDIA drivers I'm using are version 376.33, which are the most updated ones. I'm also using an Xbox One controller on this. So I'm going to go into the settings, and I'm going to show you the video settings I actually have are on Ultra. On top of that, I actually have the extra details jacked up on 100. Um, I also, by the way, have 4 gigabytes of 16, G, uh, 16 gigabytes of DD4 RAM. So I just want to give all my settings here, and also tell you I'm playing on Realistic. So that being said, I'm going to go into the game, and as I'm doing this, keeping in mind I also have fraps running in the background. And I also want to point out that I'm using version 1.07.141.6988937. And that is the latest update that uh, Ubisoft just released for this. Now, there's a lot of crap going around on the forum where people just want to bitch and moan about not being able to fix their games. And basically keep doing stuff that doesn't work. These people have been told it doesn't work and yet they keep doing the same thing. What I'm going to explain to you in this video has not been done by anybody on any of these forums, and yet they all continue claiming there's no way that this could work because that's not the problem. Well, the fact of the matter is, regardless of what is causing the problem, what I did fixed it. And if you guys don't want to do this, that's on you. But you really need to quit bitching when it comes to this. Because if you haven't actually done the fix, how the fuck are you going to argue against it? So, let me get into this here. And I will show you. The strange thing about this is, most people think that the game is having a problem because of the updates and such stuff as that. However, the updates are not the problem because there actually is no problem. As you can see in the game, there is no problems here. I won't even go so far as to start doing stuff in the game and cause a massive amount of commotion. And you will see that there actually is no slowdowns whatsoever in this game. So let me go into that thing and teleport over here so I can actually cause a gang fight. Let me go here. I'm going to show you these loading screens and everything else. What has caused this problem in all games is there was an update released by Microsoft and it's the anniversary update. If you have the anniversary update in your computer, your games may not have a problem. But that does not mean that the update isn't causing the problem. What's happening is people are saying because the update of the game just came out and then all of a sudden they started having problems in the game, that that obviously must mean it's the update and that is actually false. The anniversary update sits in your computer dormant until something triggers it. So it only appears as though there is a problem with the game. They're actually going to start causing a huge amount of problems in this game. Oh, I died. But the point here is, is that I'm showing you that there's no stuttering, slowdowns, or anything of that nature. And that is because I reformatted my computer. Once the update gets into your computer, you can't get it out. There is no amount of drivers that you can install. There's no rolling anything back. There's no doing a system restore or anything of that nature. 
the bottom line here is if you want to fix your game so it stops having these problems you absolutely need to reformat your computer and then disable your updates so the update can't get back into your computer and then you need to only install the updates that you absolutely have to have in there for example you can't use an Xbox controller in your computer without having uh, kernel driver mode 1.1 it's something of that nature you can look it up but there are two actual updates you have to have so if you were having stuttering slowdown or anything else of that nature unfortunately there's nothing you can do you absolutely have to reformat your computer and all of these people on the forums don't seem to want to accept or understand the fact that Microsoft has caused this problem with the games. There's nothing wrong with the game, as you can see. And people are just outright stupid when it comes to this. And they think they know what they're talking about without actually having done the update. I'm sorry, without reformatting your computer. So here's the bottom line. If you haven't reformatted, reformatted your computer, then stop talking about what, you, what is or isn't going to work because you don't know that for a fact. That's, that's all there is to it. And that is exactly how you fix this. And it's as simple. As you can see, there was nothing wrong here. Before I reformatted my computer, I was having all sorts of problems that everybody else was having. It's as simple as that. Well, this is TL Gamer signing off. Have a good day or night, wherever you guys are.